So I would like to welcome uh, Mr. Moses. He's a senior uh, SOC analyst. Okay. Uh, can you can you guys guess where is he working right now? I think by by looking at the picture, you can guess by the indicator. Can you guess where is he working? Okay. He's working at Apple. Okay. So welcome, Moses. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, I really appreciate that you picked my call this evening and <laughs> accepted my invite. Thank you so much for having me. It's, it's, it's an honor coming back, you know, to share the testimony with everyone here today. Yeah, 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 yeah. We wanted you to be here. I know that you have been always busy. You're a busy person, you know, since you have started working in Apple. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no matter what, I'm going to always make time for working cloud me. <laughs> Great. Thank, thank you so much, Moses. Right. Moses, uh, we have uh, thank you. We have people are waiting for you. They wanted to hear your story out. Uh, you know, like, um, how have you been? Uh, like, what, what, what were you actually doing? And uh, how did you make into Apple and start working as SOC analyst? So if you can just put some light on your journey so far, it would be really helpful. And some of the tips, what you can share with our students. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Naman. Yeah. All right. So um, starting with my career, um, I would say it was a really rough part at the beginning um, before I even came across Think Cloudly. So um, I started with at and and um, I was a technical support guy there. Um, you know, I was just trying to find my way security majorly. That was my goal. And, um, you know, right after I got into Think Cloudly, I was able to, you know, participate in the um, SOC program, which really was very, very helpful. In fact, that was the, the, that was the start of my career. And um, with enrolling to the program, I learned so much from the instructor. I gained so much experience. And with the experience that I gathered with the um, different classes that we took, asking questions, you know, trying to make sure I understand everything. And it was very, very, like, I mean, I got a lot of questions answered for me and um, as much as I could. And, um, you know, I, I got the support all the way till even after I completed the program, I had support with building my resume, you know, making sure that I have my resume built up the right way. Uh, my LinkedIn profile was also something else that was really looked into because I know right after I got my resume built up the right way and my LinkedIn also checked out for me. I I was always getting a lot of attention from different companies, people trying to look into my accounts. And able to portray everything on my LinkedIn profile. So with the experience that I've gathered from Think Loudly, I was able to get my first um senior role as a stock analyst. And um it's it, it was an amazing journey. Um starting at the beginning and I just felt that support all the way because um it wasn't just after I mean just after I got the job it was like a continuous role um like I was able to reach out to Neman to get someone to assist me on the job you know trying to make sure that I'm confident enough to you know push through because at first looking at how much that was being offered it was scary and I just didn't want to lose the job you know so I called him, I was able to like get that support, someone to hold my hands while I got that on the job training, like gain my confidence. And when I knew I was confident enough, you know, I knew that this this was, you know, the, the beginning, just the beginning. So with the experience that I've gathered while working with Think Cloudly all through my first um my my journey with Apple, I mean it it felt like I've been with Apple for so long because I had enough things to, you know, to show them the experience that I've gathered from Think Loudly. I was able to portray everything on the job. So it made it very easy for me, you know, transitioning from no major experience to someone being able to, like, perform day-to-day -day tasks on the job, like getting my managers impressed with everything I was being tasked to do on a day-to-day -day basis. And yes, um, initially I was working on site, 
and um that was in Austin. But after a while, um when they saw how confident I was with the job and everything, now I work remotely. And um for that reason I was even able to like relocate to a different state. So I'm working from a different um location right now while you know doing full time um role and I also have um people that I mentor also within our team in the SOC team. So it's 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 really been an amazing journey and um I really thank Naman for everything. Um I mean <laughs> I would always recommend my friends whenever Tell them, you know what, your resume is, the, in fact, not just your resume, like, you just need to speak to the man and determine what you want to do. It would guide you through the right way and you would, it, it would be a starting point for you. So that that's just the way my career had been. And um, it, it's it's actually just the starting point at this point, the way I see it. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you so much, Moses, for sharing your journey. I mean, uh, it's important that the journey, what you have followed, uh, it was it is not just our efforts, honestly. It is... At the same time, the efforts, uh, your efforts are majorly counted. I mean, we cannot just say that, you know, the, the entire efforts goes to think loudly or goes to the instructor or the expert. It is actually your efforts as well at the same time. So I would certainly acknowledge and appreciate that, you know, you have been working towards your skills. And because of that, I think this journey was easier for you because you could able to grab the skills what were really in demand in the market. So, and uh, one thing what I want to ask, uh, uh, you know, on behalf of the audience, that when you were actually in the interview process, what was it, was it really difficult to find your first opportunity as SOC analyst or was it easy? I mean, how was the journey? How many interviews you have, have gone through? If you can just share a little bit about it because we have to move forward with the next section, but still, if you can just put some light over here, people can gain some idea that how it really works. You know, when it comes to Absolutely. interviews. So when it came to interviews, um, there was like a very big change for me from what I saw. Initially, before I joined Think Loudly, um, I never had anybody even taking a look at my resume or even calling me for an interview. So there was no opportunity for me to even try to even apply for an entry-level role. It was a very difficult one for me. So, but from the support I gained, with Think Loudly, um, working with my, from my resume all the way to my LinkedIn profile, I started getting that traffic. Almost every week, um, I was able to see that companies are like viewing my profile. I got um recruiters reaching out to me. Um, I had a lot of interviews, and it got to a point where I was debating on which offer to go with. You know, so. The, the the demand was there. A lot of people were like trying to reach out, like they want to like get me on the, I mean, on their team. But at the time when um I I decided to just take my time, you know, I had a lot of interviews, and um with the interviews I gained more knowledge, I gained more skills, I get, I got more confidence in myself because, um a lot of times there are some expectations like um these companies want you to know some certain things some certain tools they want you to be very familiar with all these tools and um for once Plunk is a major from most of these companies like that once you tell them you you know Splunk they in fact they, they just want to listen to you they want to see what you know how much more you, mm -hmm. you understand the use of Splunk and not just Splunk itself um, I'm talking about like other um tools as well, like other um EDRs as well, um you know, and also or coding. They don't they don't really expect much from you as far as like coding, but um one major thing they would need you to know is how to, if, even if you don't know how to code, they want to they understand that even when it comes to like you doing like Python, you know, like scripting, you know, like you need to be able to be able to do it like confidently. So um, for for one, um, I actually didn't know how to like, you know, go into code. I don't code. I'm not a coding guy. But at the end of the day, when um, I got through with my training, I got to understand what these companies are looking out for with different, um, like say maybe you're using um, Events Viewer, um, you're using um, um, tools like um, PowerShell, you know how to write some basic commands that they want you to run. 
they are very basic. They don't want you to be an expert or a guru in coding. But the fact that you understand the basics is one thing that they really look into. And um, being able to explain how you can perform these tasks um, to make it um, like to, to, to run codes um, in an easy way. Like this, these are just the little things that they need to understand that you have an idea, you have the basic knowledge. But the other thing is the amount of experience um, that I was able to let them know I have. It's, it's, it's even made it a lot easier for them to like be ready to grab me on, on their team as quick as possible. So, you know, um, it, it, was, it was just a lot of support that I needed from, you know, Think Loudly that really made a very big impact for me as far as my confidence going forward with my interviews. And uh, another thing is it doesn't just end with getting the job. Getting the job is just the first step. When you get the job, you still need that support to guide you through along the way because you need to build that confidence. And it could only be possible with working with Think Cloudly. It's, it's a journey. You know, you just have to like be devoted to make sure that you get that support, definitely. Like the way I had it, the support was there. Any any doubts I had, I was able to like speak to Naman, and you know everything was being clarified. And today, it's 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 very rewarding. I always recommend my friends if they need help in getting any of these jobs. I always tell them go start with Think Cloudly. You, you that's that's a starting point for you. Thank you, thank you so much, Moses. Thank you so much for coming and sharing your feedback about us. I I'm sure that the instructors and uh, and and the team would be very proud to hear what you just said, and uh, I'm I'm sure that you know uh, you'll have the same level of support from us even going forward because it is not, uh, it is not easy you know where you are working working at a role of soft analyst that's number one achievement number two is working for the employer which is one of the biggest employer in the world, right? Um, and I, I don't I don't yes. that know I mean there is anyone in the world who do, who doesn't know Apple right? So working for that employer is also one of the biggest opportunity what you have actually landed and gifted to yourself, you know. So thank you so much, Moses. I mean, we can certainly keep this conversation going and going. I'm sure people would definitely have a lot of questions. Uh, but, you know, we, we always have less time with us. Thank you so much, Moses. I, I know when I called you right before this session, you were actually babysitting your kids. <laughs> so, and then oh, I, yes. oh, yes. I just, just reminded you uh, because I am in Eastern time zone and you are in Central time zone. And that's why I think it was right. a match between 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. Okay. Anyways, thank you so much, uh, Moses, for coming today. It was really inspiring. And guys, I think we can say, well, I mean, all the best to Moses on this role. I think uh, he, he has achieved it. And he is one of the aspiration, sorry, the inspiration for all of us. So thank you so much, Moses, for coming today. I appreciate right, it. Thank you so much. All right. And thank, um, you. thank you so much for everything you've done for me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh thank you for watching. Switch from non-IT to IT today. Explore www.thinkcloudly.com.